Nicki Minaj supposed to be dropping this Thursday? Let me go to her page. Last time y'all was telling me to go to Nicki Minaj's page, I was claiming she was on crack. I told you, Nicki Minaj don't take no goddamn crack. Is this new? Earth to Bob. Earth to Bob. Stand by for further information. Like my hand is blue. Okay. So it's happening this Friday. The reason why I think a lot of people are excited, you know, a lot of people do believe that Pink Friday was her, you know, best album. And um, a lot of people are looking at this project and what she said about it. They believe that she's going to drop a fucking classic. They believe Nicki Minaj is going to go crazy. And I'm hoping that's the case. I am rooting for her. I would love to hear an amazing project from her in an era and a year where I think so many women have had impact on music. I want to see her have her moment of shine. Um, I don't know who's going to be on the album. This shit, I see Ariana, I think Ariana Grande, her fan page is here. So I guess they believe she's doing a song. And I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be very interested to see if Drake is doing a song with her. I, I think it should be happening. I hope it's happening. But if Drake don't got no song on this album, <laughs> we're going to see. You feel me? But am I expecting and anticipating her album? Yes, and I'm hoping it goes well for her. Because, trust me, the game is better when Nicki Minaj is balancing out all the other shit we're hearing. We're hearing Sexy Red told about her pussy's green. Her pussy smells like, you know, skunk. Like, whatever the case is. And that's great because there's shock value to it. But we do need to acknowledge um, people like Nikki who balances everything out. She's an amazing lyricist. She's someone whose artistry is not just about saying shit for shock value. It's about making great songs. So I'm hoping that I could see and I could, um, you know, be there to witness uh, Nicki Minaj drop this project and, and hopefully control the uh, conversation around it. Okay. Um, yeah. Oh, real quick. <clears throat> this is comical. <laughs> I know my brothers told me don't even react to it, but I just got to give it at least like 20 seconds. Uh, chat. I've never, ever been going back and forth with a nigga and basically seeing the nigga return to juvenile ways. Listen, Y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, listen, can I find it? I don't even know where it's at. Is it, is it here? Tell me if y'all see it. Is it here? Okay. Now, no jumper. Y'all tried it. You know, I don't know who's posting on here, but y'all tried it. Um... I spoke on Sharpie during the time of him trying to disappear off camera when Adam was talking shit in the middle of the No Jumper versus Fig Community World Beef. But of course, No Jumper and their little trying to like start shit, they're, they posted what I said about Sharpie saying that, hey, if you got your issues ain't with me right now, your issues with Fig Community, they're going to post this after the beef is done. That it makes it look like I'm starting beef again. But okay, whatever. But then Sharpie um, went and responded to me. And I got to show y'all this chat. I've never seen some shit like this. Okay. about it and I hung out with Saucy Santana. And I thought about it and, you know, what he was saying wasn't so half bad. So what you saying? You been playing Dominatrix games with fucking Saucy Santana? Yeah, I might, I might have been playing them sharp, but... Come on, you know I just been playing. It's just internet games. Yo, chat. We have a nigga who look like he bought a 
be the next mother like like he's auditioning to be on them lung lung uh, lung commercial for cigarettes where they be like yo hey I can't die. Yeah. the nigga look like he finna die from mesothelioma or whatever nigga he's playing with dolls I've gotten a grown man who used to mentally torture and pimp women to be playing with action figures. And he's wondering why I keep laughing at him. Hey, I'm this. Huh? You know, I hate to quote the, the Bible, but listen, man. 1 Corinthians 13, verse 11, man. Listen, when I was a child, I spoke as a child, brother. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I had to put away childish things, man. Bro, you're still playing with toys. This is the first time I had to think. I'm like, this guy is a creep. How do you spend your day trying to manipulate women and you're playing with dolls? What is wrong with you, bro? Now, I won't even say anything more after this because I realize this guy has some mental issues. This was done at 4 a.m. He was playing with action figures. Trying to role play as me. Game over. I won. There's a few times when I'm going back and forth with people that I'm like, oh, I won. It's over. This nigga. You know, what, what do I know? I know you niggas be real street niggas. I ain't trying to play with you niggas. <coughs> you know? Oh, church. Your breath. Nigga, don't you ever breathe your mouth on me like that again, nigga. Did that nigga, like, press a button on the toy? It's your ugly ass, Hall oh, Shark. Well, you know, I don't really mean nothing by it. You know, I'm just trying to fit in. Yo, this nigga literally looks like a gay stud. With the worst haircut Black filth tooth ever. And he's playing with toys. Yo, Sharp. I think I've taken my victory with you, bro. It's over. I'm calling this beef. It's over. Just like I beat Freddie Gibbs. Had a baby mom. It's over. It's over with me and you too, bro. I hope you continue to... Uh, your sharp look like he was trying to audition to be in Toy Story or some shit like that. Are you okay, brother? Okay, I'm gonna leave this boy alone. This is crazy. I thought about it and I hung out with Saucy Santana and I thought about it and, you know, what he was saying wasn't so half bad. So what you saying? You been playing Dominatrix games with fucking Saucy Santana? Yeah, I, I, I might have been playing them sharp, but... Come on, you know I just been playing. It's just internet games. You know? Yo, brother. You ain't got to use me to, as a reason to use your action figures, my dude. Like, it's okay. It's okay. Now, before I could even just ether you. I swear y'all do the work for me, man. I swear y'all do the work for me. Can I even find it? Give me one more second. I told you, it's a one-trick pony, man. Ever since I exposed him, he been mad. Don't take me for it. Try if it. you was to bring a bitch Try here, it. that's easy. You said it but on I'm camera. Saying, you was calling so a bitch. The fuck? It saying, don't matter. You setting it up. I said if you got hostility. We, if this is entertainment, nigga. You soft? Entertainment. What's up with you? A bitch can't I even talk to you real. in your face for you so to you call something. You know what's so funny about Sharp? That's a New York bitch checking you, man. That's the thing about y'all little. I don't know which bitch Sharp ever pimped. Actually, I do know because a lot of bad things happen to th those women. Actually, and I want to send my condolences. I don't want to make fun of it. But Sharp, this this is a New York chick right here, man. 
Ain't nobody talk crazy to a New York chick. You can't get her under your wing, nigga. Somebody. Fake as fuck. This is, so at the end of the day, it's entertainment so meaning. This has, this has been no, for you it's entertainment time. meaning that why would damn. you call a bitch to come fight me for real? Damn. That's weird. Why not? What? Y'all because this is a podcast. Niggas, I'm not going to do This ain't nothing to you, right? What? This isn't anything. It, to you. it don't mean nothing to you either because you're right? not afraid you to lose that already, it. already, though. It's not, you're not afraid to lose it, so it don't mean nothing to you I'm either. I'm not afraid of shit. So then that's what it is. Y'all heard it here my first. Life, my life, baby. It's a liability, not an yeah, asset. That's no, all baby, I'm saying. You've been the liability. That's why you only got a show or two and got your ass to fuck a on show about or two? the door. What you mean? Wow. Interesting. You know, my man's back to doing his normal tricks, just arguing with girls. There's another clip I think I was going to play. But really, I, I almost have nothing to say to him. I think this guy is, uh, you know, somebody's ethering themselves. Let me see. Can I even find that? I probably can't find this shit like that. Uh, can I find it? <coughs> probably can't find this bitch. I don't know how to do. Uh, can I? Nope. Nope. It's not relevant, man. Here we go. One more time. Yo, I've never seen a nigga made it this easy to, like, embarrass him. Up. They don't pick you up bum. in the streets. You bum. Are you fucking Hell dumb? Yeah, we street you call bitches no crying. Are you no stupid? Bitch, cry who? Cry? What? You cry in the bitches. Get it! What's up? What's, What's up? Because I'm really about to get my breath from you, nigga. What's up? I don't think I'm really like that. You fucking talking about what you feel like that. Get angry, bitch. Get angry. Words of my life. Get angry. I really like that. I really like that. You don't know how I move so much. Yeah, all right. Dude's a one-trick pony, man. I exposed that a long time ago. He's been mad ever since. It's all good, though. All right. Uh, we'll continue. Sharp. Uh, may you have no more words. Keep playing with your dolls. All right. I think 